This is excursion line. Your car is too big to come in your garage. So you do what you gotta do. Well, we got a trip. Boys playing football in Augusta and it needs an oil change. And first things I do is I make sure the oil cap comes off. Sometimes they're tight, but you sure don't want to drain your oil and not know that your cap comes off because how do you get it back in? So, got that off. Second thing I do, check the dipstick to see how much is in there. Let's me know how much it's using. Mine usually uses two quarts over the course of a change. I go 5,000 miles and I'm a quart low now. Had a trip to Atlanta. Had to top off. So now we're going to go underneath. Drain the oil, change the filter, and get some fresh blood back in it. Now you can see I write the mileage and the date on my oil filters. That way, if I ever didn't write it down, I keep track of mine with an app. Since we have five cars right now, and it reminds me, it kind of guesses the miles we drive. So I do that. And also, before I ever get my hands nasty, I keep my filters hand tight. So I just go ahead and get it started. That way, my hands aren't oily and I'm trying to get a grip on that. And it's nothing worse than getting frustrated when you're laying under your car. I'm using a 5.8 socket on the drain plug here. See it is ready to come out and in typical excursion fashion it's very dark. Get ready, because here it comes. having that cap off lets air in the top side so it comes right on out. Just adjust your pan. As the stream gets lighter unfortunately this one's four-wheel drive so I can lay right under here and change it. Uh, I'm not I'm not built to get under the two-wheel drive version since they said a little lower Wow that one is dripping Let's go ahead and spin off this filter and get it right on my hand. There we go. And right into the bucket. I think that happens every time. I don't know why I'm not ready for it. But that's the scourge in life, I guess. So while you're waiting on the oil to finish draining, 
sure and have your marker. I use Motocraft. I write the mileage on the back of the box so I don't have to crawl out from under here. I'm built for comfort, not for speed. 193.804 is my current mileage. Today is 8.25. There we go. Back to the cap. Then you want to oil this gasket here. And you don't have to use new oil, fortunately. My sway bar has some drips on it. So I'll just use that. And then I'll put it back. Taking good care not to drop this one into the bucket. All right, hand tight. You can tell when your knuckle pops. Put the bolt back in. back down click click all right oil is dumped now let's take care of this spill a little bit here a little bit on the down pipe y pipe all right now let's crawl out from under here now that my arms are completely moisturized, dinosaur juice, it's time to add the oil. Now I use, I guess typically, cheapest than synthetic. And since this engine goes through the oil it doesn't smoke so I guess it just burns it I never see any blue it is straight pipe so I would see it so somehow it goes somewhere there's just less in the crankcase whenever it's time to add and to check So I've got my funnel where I add oil. That is much easier than trying to aim. And pouring it all over your valve cover and sending it down to your exhaust manifold and then having to smell that. So this is a five quart, a 520. You don't want it to jug out like that, turn it on its side. in this has about two quarts in it but it only holds six and a half and this is just regular 520 some people use semi sin let's see put my 
half a quart more. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to fire it up. Let the oil fill the filter. And then I'm going to check to see how much oil is on the stick. Check the dipstick. See if we're at full. Now on the dipstick, we are just below half a quart low. I'm going to add just a little more in. Just in case it's still draining down. Let it stick off again. And on forwards, there's two holes on the dipstick. Top hole means it's full. The bottom hole means it's a quart low. So typically anywhere in this range is acceptable. The higher the better. Just don't go over the top. I'm gonna check it one more time. So, it could use a quarter of a quart more. I'm going to leave it at that. And when I get to my destination, I'll check it out and see if I used any on the way. Now it's time to deal with the waste oil. And the reason I like these big containers is it gives me somewhere to put the waste oil instead of buying six individual quarts and dealing with worrying about them turning over and spilling at least this has a little more weight so what I do is I find something heavy to lean it up against and use my filter Steady that filter there because it will try to walk on you. And I just pour it in. Now you have to keep an eye on the back side of this container here so you don't overfill it and pour it right onto the floor because I tell you, I do that more times than not. So I'm watching it come up, come up. I may just get it all in here. Look at it. Now you can cap it. You can take it to your local parts store. Most of them has a used oil collection bin. I know this company does. It's where I take all of mine. So when you're doing an oil change, FL820S, free motorcraft filter, 
Now these are 11 bucks at O'Reilly's and I didn't have time to order one off of Amazon. I think they're $3 on Amazon. Same exact filter. So I usually order several since we have an F-150 in the fleet and we also have a navigator that use the same filter. I usually keep them on the shelf. So um, there's a way for you to save money there. So hope this helps and I'll see you next time.